Christmas is a wonderful and a difficult time. Uh, I think it's a time where a lot of people are told that they're supposed to be happy and joyful, that this is the season for that. And in many ways, it accentuates a lot of the pain in people's lives. Uh, and I think it is a time where um, there is a search for meaning. Also, many, many of us remember Christmas as children as a time of wonder. And, and as we've grown older, some of the wonder's gone from our lives. I was in awe. I was awed when I walked in this cathedral as a child. You were awed by it. It's so beautiful. It was wonderful. I see a lot of people coming to church around Christmas and at Christmas um, in many ways with a memory of what once was and with the hope of what could be. Where in my life is God saying, I love you so much that, not that I'm going to hand you a list of rules, but that I'm going to be with you. And then, how do we do that with each other? How do we look around us and say, you know what? How do I say I love you so much that I'm not going to say the right things that make all your problems go away, but I'm going to be with you. There is a spirit here that elicits a response that is like no other place that I've ever been. Oh, I love it. 28 years we've been here now. My children have grown up and we have six grandchildren and we think that St. Louis is quite wonderful. I love St. Louis. I lived downtown for 70 years of my life because when my husband came down here to be a priest here at the cathedral, we moved downtown in Plaza Square. He wanted to be close in walking distance to the cathedral. We are the mother church, you see. One of the things that really was compelling to me when I first saw the church was the inclusion of homeless people, um, people from all walks of life. We have everything from surgeons and academics, uh, business people, uh, students. That's, that's who we are, that's what we are, and these doors need to be open. There's violence every day, and you're not gonna stop it by locking the doors. Those doors need to be unlocked, they need to be open, and people need to be welcome, because that's what the church is all about. People of all races, color, gay, straight, whatever, we accept them all. We experience the, the transcendent uh, when we encounter you know, beauty. And, and so I, I think a big role of the cathedral right now is to be um, a place where people can encounter God through encountering beauty. I think I was born to play the organ and started playing when I was about 12 years old. And I've done it ever since. People yearn for a spiritual life of some sort. It's important to their heart and to their minds. Um, adapting and helping to generate a spiritual life within a group of people, we call them a congregation, allows us to come together with other people who have similar needs and wants and yearnings. It's difficult to describe why it's a different church experience than I've had anywhere else, but it's very different. It's very real. There is a joy that I have from serving in this community, to reaching out to the homeless, to helping people, to writing letters to people, to polishing silver, um, cleaning candles. That's a joy that's no place else in my life. We're a liturgical church, and I think that's something that's very appealing. Um, you know, it, it kind of gives you a sense of tradition, uh, and I think we live that out in our specific congregation very well, and uh, I hope that people will, if they're, if they're looking for community, that they might give us a, a chance. We'd like to be a, a home and a refuge. We have a beautiful space, as you can see, which is a space that we would like to make available to the community. Underneath all our existence is a deep, loving meaning that you know, if we're going to be the best we can be as human beings, uh, it needs to get awoken in hearts. And I think it not only gets woken in the hearts of individuals, I think it gets awoken in the heart of a city. We take scripture very seriously. We take the tradition, the historic traditions of the church very seriously. But we also believe that God gave us brains and God gave us the gift of conversation and community. And God gave us hearts that can be moved. I hope more and more we become not afraid to fail. Because uh, the, oh, the, the best things are coming.